This is a, a, a Greenwich Village, early Greenwich Village story, early 60s, when all of us young sprouts were down there trying to make our mark, and uh, you know, with folk songs and folk music. We weren't writing then, that was, that was about a year before the songs started, you know, with Bob Dylan, and, uh, and we all kind of followed him. But um, we were all there on McDougal Street, and, and ha nobody had any money, but had a lot, a lot of fun, and it was a good time. And uh, there was a little, you know, a little, uh, a little weed floating around Greenwich Village at the time, and, and that, was, that was considered kind of exotic. And uh, Susie Rodolo was uh, Bob Dylan's girlfriend at the time, and Susie and uh, Sylvia were, were good, real good friends. And uh, years, the years passed by, and, and we all got older, and uh, Susie's book on, on her relationship with Bob came out, and uh, in it, she says that I turned Bob Dylan on to pot. Now, I don't remember that. I have no memory of that. Of course, I don't remember last week, for that matter. But uh, I, don't, I have no memory of that, but it could have been true, I guess. But if it is, um, uh, Bob Dylan turned on the Beatles. And uh, I turned on Bob Dylan. That makes me the king. So I, I'm Ian Tyson, and that's my Greenwich Village story, the best one ever. <laughs>